loved up Prince Harry and Meghan Markle charm crowds in Brixton. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made a love up outing to Brixton on Tuesday to carry out their second joint engagement. With just 122 days to their nuptials, Harry and Meghan are juggling wedding planning with their official duties. The couple visited the studios of Represent 107.3 FM in Brixton, South London, a 24-hour underground music station and the only one in the UK presented by people under 25. Harry, 33, and Meghan. 36, were greeted with cheers and applause from fans who had waited outside Pop Brixton in the hope of catching a glimpse of the couple. Meghan was her typical stunning self in black flares, a top and a pale camel coat, while Harry looked as proud as Punch to have his bride to be by his side. The radio station was funded in 2003 by former teacher Shane Carey, in response to a sudden increase in knife crime in nearby neighborhood, Peckham. According to Mr. Carey, Harry and Meghan approached him three days before Christmas, asking if they could come and see the station for themselves. We didn't invite them, they approached us just before Christmas, he said. I was asked to give a major presentation the next day and have been working on this non-stop ever since. The reason they are coming is because we are aligned very closely to their interests, we do a lot of work around mental health. The whole model of represent is peer mentoring and I know that is something that really interests Prince Harry. Represent came out of a community station and has been so successful that it has just eclipsed everything else. Represent is about giving young people a voice and confidence. And radio is probably the way to do it. There are so many jobs that you can do within radio, not just the obvious skills, but also getting on with people, turning your hands to all sorts of jobs. Pubs could stay open late for the royal wedding. The station trains hundreds of young people each year in media and employment skills, and offers courses in everything from audio and radio production to confidence building, work experience and volunteering. The popular program currently has over 3,000 people on the waiting list, and has seen past students go on to run their own club nights and produce their own music. This is Harry and Meghan's first engagement of the year, and their second in total. They carried out their first joint engagement in November where they visited the Nottingham Academy to meet children from the Full Effect program, and later to Nottingham Contemporary for a Terence Higgins Trust World AIDS Day. The pair were last seen on Christmas Day attending the annual Christmas church service at Sandringham, where they were joined by other members of the royal family, including the Queen and Prince Philip, and Prince William and Kate.